Well, thousands of students are learning virtually from home, you know, this year because of the pandemic. But that may change in Friendswood ISD despite rising cases across the state. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live at Friendswood High School with more on what the school board is considering. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. Well, it's also important to note that under TEA's new guidelines, school districts can stop offering virtual instruction to students if they have poor grades or poor attendance. We've seen this happen at area schools like Barbers Hill ISD and other Texas schools. And uh, grade issues was something that was brought up at a recent meeting at Friendswood ISD. If you take a look at the agenda from November 9th, Friendswood ISD highlighted some failure rates showing that in the first nine weeks, weeks of the school year, 29% of virtual Friendswood ISD high school students were failing one or more classes. And in contrast, 8.5% of in-person high school learners were failing one or more classes. And they also referenced some of the current virtual learning constraints. This included responsive teaching as well as rigor pace and independent struggles when students return to in-person instruction. So this agenda showed some proposed changes for virtual learning. It would be available for students who have tested positive for the coronavirus or have to quarantine or if students meet certain criteria. So what does this mean? Well, in order for students to participate virtually, this is the proposal. All class averages must be above 70%. Students may not have more than three or more unexcused absences. If they fail to meet those requ requirements, they would have to return to face-to-face -face instructions. Now, students could appeal if they or someone in their household has a health condition. Now, as far as coronavirus cases go, the district shows there's 10 active cases. That's out of 6,000 students and 664 employees. Now, the school board meeting will take place tonight at 6.30, where we may get some more clarification on answers on the direction of where virtual learning will go. Reporting live near Friendswood High School, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.